ludicrous. Swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born. Never been Illuminati, only a Illuminati. And I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now, I was alone. The white people TV show, the black people TV show, they used to be on air 360. Me and Mix, I don't know if you guys know this. He definitely bought the Knicks. He definitely bought the Knicks. He bought the Knicks, yeah. and uh, yeah. it's rumored that he took the Knicks back, returned them with a receipt. But I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? Just, you've been up, yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to part three of episode 48. I'm your host, Wes Hunt. It's my co-host. Just the God. You already know what time this is. The podcast we spark blunt of conversation. We get right into it. Like, share, and subscribe to all the platforms. You're going to see them on the, on the bottom of the screen. That's the point where I use them. Chosen one shot, fucking right, spam the motherfucking comments. Hope you enjoyed part two and part one. Part one, we're selling your soul. Why do people sell your soul? Part two is Lil Nas X with 349. I buy him to him. Chris is that weird fucking piece of shit. Pussy motherfucker. Nigga. I don't like him. Oh man, I like him. He's a cornball, he's fake in every facet. He's just disgusting as a human. I mean, not, not, not in the gay thing. I'm just talking about him as a human. He's just a disgusting person. I mean, I, um, this one is, you're gonna respond to celebrity responses. Even if that part three in episode 47, it's just uh, Cat Williams or Tough Shay Shay. I'm glad y'all vibing with that video, but this is the response is um, for. Uh, the reactions for some of the celebs, a few handful, a little sprinkle of celebs that respond to Cat Williams or Club Shay Shay, they didn't get into it. I mean, it's a little Chris in his what? <laughs> it's a little Chris in his wine response to the fucking Club Thrives. But you know I mean, so you're gonna watch some of them, you're gonna get into the app. Like, share, and subscribe. Chosen one, shine. Right. Whatever's heavy on my heart is always on my mind. Like Snoop's cannabis shredder, I'm always on my grinds. They throw a shade because it can never take my shine. I bring my watch collection on my jet. Let me take my time. Like fine wine, I'm aging like Benjamin. Top five, I'm worth mentioning. Bring me rappers, I'm lynching them. See the pendulum swing, Jesus with diamond thorns. Ludacris, swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born. Never been Illuminati. Only a Illuminati, and I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now I'm married with kids, the evolution of life. Never been a clout chaser, never say shit for likes. R.I.P. John Singleton, you never have to flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. Afro with the sideburns, yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise, comedians check your temperature. One. I was, I was, what was somebody said earlier, first of all, we're going to take a chicken, we're going to take a chicken, we're going to take a chicken, we're Two. Bruh. Then he called you gay. And he didn't say, okay, say he wasn't gay, right? What are you doing at the party? Say he leaves with bitches, what are you still doing at the party? Say he'd be, okay, I leave with two bitches. But you should be, be used with people getting fucked and whatever. Uh, it still makes you complicit. We're gonna go into that. What you think about that little cool stuff? All right. You know, I like the rhyme. Rhyme is right to me. He has some because of the rhyme. Lucas actually is nasty and he's dirty. So, like, I mean, but uh, if, if you don't respond, if you don't respond, you don't respond. You don't respond with a fucking subliminal ass thing. We called you out by fucking name. That's a challenge. Like, like, if that don't, if don't have to be subliminal, Say, nigga, I not, never did none of that shit. That shit you saying is lying. I never cut my sideburns. In. That's how you put it all. I mean, I, I guess so you can make a very, very thinly veiled rhyme. But. Well, you know, you're trying to say, I got the rhyme. Because John Singleton made Fast and Furious too. That's the Fast and Furious that he was in. John Singleton yeah, put him in that movie. I, I, I don't got the rhyme, but it's just you know, right. I, mean, I, I understand what you were saying. That's why he said I work for every check. You can look at Tiffany Haddish back five like that. Yeah, I'm just on I was on all this shit. I did extra work. I was on all the white people TV show. The black people TV show. They would be on air 360. And you're out of here. I've been since 1996. 1996. Since oh, they wouldn't let her perform in a comedy store. That's true. They wouldn't let me perform on the white nights in a comedy store, but I performed on all of the nights. They wouldn't let me perform on the white nights at the but I performed on all the black and Latino. What you think about her response, Cat Williams? You know, she's trying to explain. Then she's the she's trying to, she's she's trying to, to, to explain her, her reason for being. 
popping. Yeah. yeah, she trying to explain her reason for being by giving her resume. Do you agree with her? Did the cat was gonna go wrong with that and then she was around him because I mean I know I can't want to let him see if or he's just a hater, either one. I mean, That's either way, either way, he can have his opinion. She could still have been around and not and not worthy of the opportunity that she had gotten. And that still doesn't make him wrong. And that doesn't still doesn't well, make him wrong. Well, I can say because I am thirty six years old. God bless. I mean, like, like but I thirty six years old, right? But Samar Moore, Nornell, you know, these other women he named. I've seen it forever. She popped up, blew up, and number uh, not like they're not funny. You ask my shorty, you ask these shit on the floor. They found the seven special. It's fucking funny. At least. Like especially a small yeah, more especially one with sites. So small more one of sex, Lou Nell, Lou Nell's fucking a lot of it. They're funny. I'm not gonna lie, they're actually funny. There's some Roman comedian and like Nikki Glaze is also funny. Um Ali Wong was funny. Uh like I'm funnier than Amy Schumer stand up. I like Amy Schumer show, but funny than Amy stand up. Really funny to me. I don't know. I don't think Amy Schumer is that funny. You know what I mean? But I've uh, show was pretty funny. I love the show, but I don't agree like a stand up. But like these women's really funny and they never really got a fucking chance. But we're gonna go into one more clip, you know. Kevin Hart throwing shots back at Rich Cola and this is Kevin Hart selling out. This come from Double Tap TV. But I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? Just, you've been up. Yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my way of yeah. doing it. Like, it's open dialogue. Yeah. You want me to keep talking about by, it? By all means, this, we can keep talking about anything. <laughs> But, but don't do it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm about the uh, mix. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Cam Williams bought the mix. He definitely bought the mix. He bought the mix, yeah. and uh, yeah. it's rumored that he took the mix back, but turned them with a receipt. That's yeah, you could do that. You yeah. didn't know you could do the that. The first person ever did. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. they gave him a 30 day policy. He got it. Well, he bought it for 15 days and returned it. Yeah. Maybe ask the context. Fact about so what's happening? He's doing a commentary for an NBA special and he's trying to make a joke on Cat Roy Bottom and Nick's listening to the folks and like, this is responsive to Nick's. This is probably after the coach situation. He played. He played. Oh, he played. He played with Nick. He played with the wing. He's fast. They said he's fast. He won a 3.9. What's he playing? 3.9. He figured out how to play basketball for reading all the books. 3,000. 3,000 a year. That's two a day. That's six years old. That's two a day. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? He was something great at the age seven. He got to get seven in that first. I think it was yeah. Delaware University. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never made public news. No. Never. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest secret. The biggest secret in the world. Hey. <laughs> Smartest kid to ever do it. They kept it a secret. <laughs> so 48 years. They kept it a secret. It just dropped on it. Right? Speaking well, of it which, was hitchhiking on side of the street yeah. at 13. Yeah. So. <laughs> they couldn't it's, find it. Speaking of which, Kev, you've, you've had a busy week. Yeah. Yeah. A tough one. Yeah, real, real busy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> real busy. Okay. Oh, John Morant coming in. We're going go to this and, um, is what I think about the celebs' responses to Cat Williams in the real club Shay Shay, and I'm always being such a freak shit. Oh, you excuse me, Kev, you had a busy week. Like, stop acting like Cat Williams is broke or you don't got shit going on. I hate people with that, and I'm like, that's not the first thing everybody will say. I got a bag, and Cat Williams is not broke. I hate people saying, I was like, you jealous, and you need to stop working. What? The fuck you talk? Like, that shit is so corny. Like, let's talk about the things he's talking about if you're gonna talk about him. And also, a fuck with his, his boys is not funny as shit for, at all. They like film whatever, he, he could act a lot better. I'm not really a fan of Kevin Hart's time too much. I wanted to know why. But he's funny on movies and certain shows. It was a good situation for me to become so, a comic and a fan of show. And I'm, 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 I'm personally right. about me and Jason and Cool Guy. But that shit wasn't funny just now. Like I said, these responses is whack. They're not adjusting the situation head on. The things he's saying about you, I'm sorry, maybe just come from different clubs. I don't give a fuck about no brand. Go back to my integrity from part one. I don't give a fuck about no brand, nothing like that. I'm talking about for me. Somebody saying I'm gay. Somebody saying I'm a shady. And somebody said I still was writing jokes and I wasn't. And somebody saying I was doing this. Somebody said I'm at, and, and, and I really wasn't doing it. And I'm going to respond. I'm not going to do it. And they just like, you just been very mixed. Make a rap like, you know, I'm a never went to Illuminati. I never went to no party. Like, I'm not doing all this fucking creative shit and I'm not stupid shit when you try to really assassinate my fucking character. Because y'all do all this shit, everybody, y'all can look it up yourself. Majority of people getting to the Kevin's right, that niggas doing being internet sleuths and looking up information in the back of what the fuck we say now. There's a whole bunch of shit about Steve Harvey. They need to pick Mark Curry. I'm mad, 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 I'm m
I mean, if I'm in the hanging Mr. Cool. Mark Curry. It's Mark Curry, right? Yeah. Mark Curry and it, um uh, uh Steve Harvey shit back to side to side the show, the, the joke. We saw a lot of shit. He put the Central Entertainment that cat with him. Nigga. So yeah. it's like, bro, y'all niggas need to stop playing around and address the situations head on. Or to be real, but yeah, I heard this, I heard I got inspired from that joke and I made it my own. There goes that lie. And then something went wrong with me. At least he admitted it. No matter give a fuck. I know why you try to stand on it. It's not original content, it's not original content. He didn't say every joke y'all stole and every joke in King Comedy was fake. He said, yes, so one or two jokes. If y'all can't admit to that, yeah, you can't. That, stole that one joke. Oh, one joke. I'm talking about Steve Harvey, which fully said. He Mark Harvey, Steve Harvey's just Mark getting Mark. hated on, um. No, and Mark Harvey said he stole his whole Halloween set. No, no, you see, yeah, he stole the, um, the, the idea for, um, and, Steve Harvey show. Yeah, yeah, and, and, so and he stole his yeah, whole Halloween yeah. set and put on, um, kids. Oh, oh, man, I've seen the show. Yeah, I've seen that show. So, like, uh. On Steve Harvey show. Yeah, like. On his, um, his talk show. He didn't say I stole the whole concept. So, my thing is this. My, 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 uh, response. To set of reaction is that Tiffany Haddish, she had the most balls. Then the woman was trying to address and say, I did this, I did that, whether it was true or not. Whether Catherine was acknowledging or not, but she had the balls to try to stand in it and try to address it. She gonna address it. We feel like she had the most balls out of everybody. The little cool shit. I don't wanna hear a fucking rhyme. I don't wanna hear what you really did. I mean, they, they try to go your cyber and back. The cyber and got so down. They, they try to go your cyber and back. They got a new Fast and Furious coming out. And, you know, he always got that shit for Fast and Furious. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, like, like, but, um, uh, who else you just saw? Kevin Hart. That was the worst one. He went about the Knicks, and you know he's going to be the Knicks, and yeah, I got a lot of more What? Like, bro, that's my opinion. Y'all going to react to it, react to it. Or don't, they're going to make it, y'all look more guilty. That's what everybody's saying. Y'all look way more guilty, and now niggas just digging. I ain't going to do too much digging. When niggas going to digging, I'm just going to present the speed of facts in this one for the show. What you think about the uh, some of the celebs? And it's more, it's mad. I don't even have the time for everybody to say yeah, that. I know. You, know. you think does it uh, makes it, uh, Cat Williams shit more valuable, or do you think Cat Williams is more lying now? Or well, I mean, in that in, in that instance, I mean, no, I mean, no. What yeah, I think about all the other shit, like no, that, I mean, with Cat Williams, I already, I already knew what the fuck he was saying was the truth. With more, with, with Steve Harvey, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know the subject entertainer joke. That was that that, that, that was new to me. But with the Steve Harvey shit, man, I, I I already felt that about Steve Harvey. Um, and with Kevin Hart, him being a, a plant, I don't know. And I don't, uh, I don't, go I don't, know. I don't you, know about him being a plant. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for bringing it up. I don't think, and I don't know if you meant it this way, and I don't think Kevin Hart is a plant in the sense of what you see on the internet of an entry for a Zach Seenum, and they manufacture his background and they put him in place. I really don't believe it. What I do believe, and this is my belief. He would go along. He went along. No, no, that's, that's guaranteed. But what, what I do believe is he won't put him on dress. He put him on dress to sign out loud. That's, just, that's, that's that's obvious example that y'all can see on that own that everybody knows about. That he's going on, get on. You said, I got a brand. I'm going to take my brand, certain things I just won't do in this head. So whatever. But like, uh, so I'm not talking about that. But what I do know is that they put him in place. Cause he's a go along, get along nigga. That's what I mean. Like he's a go along, he's a go along. They get put him along. over like after Kobe yeah, and Jordan, they need somebody along. else. And you always need and a comedy, have, black comedy face. That, that's some kind of talent. And he don't give no trouble. That's exactly what yeah. they give a fuck LeBron, bro. And he don't give he no put, trouble. He put you in place. And you know what I'm saying? And, and, he's, and, he's, and, he's, and he's, he's a little funny. And he ain't gonna get no trouble because they need him. Cat Williams wouldn't go along. David Chappelle was giving him too much problems. So they needed another face to play the role of the black comedy face and Kevin Hart was there and he you know what I mean and he didn't mind doing certain things so the go along. You know what I mean? But so you know what my doing first time I saw Kevin what, Hart was that, that's why and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, soldier. Paper soldiers. So right. if you believe if you say he's if you try to say he's a plant in that regard, that yeah, that's I can see that as him they put him in place. They just saying that yeah, he I, went I, along I, I, so they I gave him that. So they gave him all the movies. Oh, they yeah, gave, yeah, oh, yeah, I believe that. I believe that. I don't think they took from scratch. Yeah, bro, to be honest with you, I think they definitely put him in place. If you wanna look at it, if you wanna look at it, I got no problem with Kevin Hart, this is what it is. I told the truth, If you wanna look at it, if you want to look at it in a large scale, anybody who's at the position that they at is go along. Whether it's Eddie Murphy, whether it's Richard Pryor, whether it's, whether it's um, The Rock, and, and the minute The Rock went against the powers that be, and they shut him down, I guess, you know what I'm saying, when, when he wanted to go against WB with the Superman thing, and they was like, nah, nigga, this is how we doing it. 
But yeah, if Everybody, you at that point in, if in your like career, thirty million dollar mark or something like that, going along with certain things you might not want along with you before. Make, if you make it to protect your brand if you and to keep your brand going, dollars, you know what I'm saying? If you make it hundreds of millions of dollars, eighty million dollars, seventy five million, nigga, you 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 a part of the goal. It's a fact. There's no way how you got to that point. Go along, get along, game. Didn't go along. what I'm saying? What you did is it differs, but. If some people, you never get if some people people understand how to play the game better than other people, no, 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 me, and they know not to get caught up. I, like, for instance, I don't think Kevin Hart is going around getting niggas. But I, I think know. Kevin Hart. I don't think so, but I don't know. I don't think so, but I, you never know with anybody. Yeah. With anybody. But I think it's certain things that he may be like, all right, you know what? I ain't got a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? He might, but he'd be like, ah. It's different people, because everybody, right. everybody, right. everybody, everybody do some homosexual. Right, 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 right. People do, it's like setting so mm-hmm. different, that, different that, ways. I believe that's better. I believe you are who you are. Is it complicit? It is. It's like, yo, oh, how about this? Wear a dress. They show you an interview. You say you want to wear a dress. Yeah, Martin did that. And then they start telling you, Martin did it. Martin, Rich did it. They should probably tell you from Oprah. This did she it. She told you, said, they tell you, said, all the grades did it. All the choices did it. And they did it. I don't want to do it. It's old. It's played yeah, out. It's a played out um, gig. It's a played out on no, that no, gig. It's hacky. It's played out. It's a played out on um, no, gig. So, like, that's the whole point. One had integrity. One said, fuck it. Yeah, one was like, I'm, on, I'm, fuck I'm it. not bending on this what I'm doing. Saturday Night Live. Fuck it. Yes, they asked me, what am I going to do? I can't mess with my big chance on Saturday Night Live. This is going to give me mad exposure. So there you go. You're and, 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 and the fucked up thing about it. Yeah, that's what I know. And the fucked up thing about it, it was a corny ass skit. Right. I mean, you're not, you're not funny. Like, mm, you been a not, store or um, Yeah. Now, the Wanda skit that Martin did is a funny skit. But here's the thing about that. Do you know that is not his original idea? Mm. Crazy, right? Um, Another comedian, I can't remember his name right now. You can do the research. Another comedian, that was his idea. And he used to do it every night and tear the house down, right? I watched them do it, right? And Martin came, you know what I'm saying? Seen it one night, and was like, yo, boom. Then they, Martin was getting to do the show, right? Martin came to him and was like, yo, bro, you see that skit that you're doing where you dress up like the woman and she's mad ghetto? Yo, I'm about to do a show. I want you to play that role on my show. And he was like, all right, cool. He said, but then he never hear back from Martin and then he saw the show and Martin did the role. Very Mac have a clip saying, so young comedians, they're gonna joke, they'll be serious. He said, if you ever wanna work in the sound, you'll ever say jokes on comedians. You won't, you won't work an hour. The comedians will be still making jokes. Well, yeah. Before we wrap this shit up, what's your, what's your last word? Quick, fast, last word. You know, I mean, shit. Wrap like, it up, wrap up the whole shit. Wrap up the whole shit. Yo, listen, man. It's like, oh, right. like, I'm going through the list one more time. Quick, like, fast. Like, Let's say, man. bro. Other people like things got exposed. Diddy and Cassie allegations. Young Miami being complicit with Diddy's doings. Cat Williams club chasing interview. Mark Curry exposing Steve Harvey. The main cast for color purple to open. Oprah. Jeff Epstein's flight list. Clive Davis allegedly being Diddy sugar daddy and throwing fucking him up. Pre um Grammy bash still after all the fucking allegations. Tyler Perry being exposed. All right. So what do you think about all this? Quick fast. My quick fast. My live rapper biz. Just tune all that shit out. If you tune all that shit out, these people no longer exist and it disappears. My mindset is a little different. My mindset is that don't tune it out and pick a fucking side consciously. Or else not but if you tune it out, you pick a side consciously. I'm not, I'm not saying tune it out. I'm, 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 I'm saying tune it out. They pick a side. And else that's for love. The else that's for life. The else that's for royalty. The else that's for liking. Like, share, subscribe. Check out ATW Music coming soon. Whoa.